The Lord acts as a witness between a husband and a wife at their marriage, and she is called his wife by covenant. But what is a covenant? This is strange language to us today. We're more familiar with the concept of a contract. Contracts are concerned with protecting goods and services, but what we're doing here today is far more significant. You're making a covenant, a relational commitment. A covenant is not concerned with goods and services. It's concerned with persons. While contractual love asks, how can this person make me happy? And what can I get out of this relationship? Covenantal love asks, how can I show love to this person? And how can I strengthen this person? You said to me that you love the way Lily laughs. You said that she possesses immeasurable beauty, that she is responsible and hardworking, witty, patient, kind, and loving. But your love and commitment to her must not wax and wane according to these qualities in Lily. You are with her for better or for worse. Always. I also asked you to write down some qualities about Vern, and you said that he tells you he loves you every day, that he is affectionate and caring, and sacrificially watches countless hours of reality TV drama with you. all that I am, I share with you. Before God, I take you as my wife, for better or for worse, for which or for poor, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, now and forever. I now pronounce you man and wife. Vern, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, for the very first time, I present to you Mr. and Mrs. Vern Mock. special guy and at first glance he looks like an average white guy. <laughs> I assure you in knowing him and his family for the last 15 years there's any they are anything but average. Vern is a traditional guy it's right there in his name he is Werner Sylvester Mach IV. So spoiler alert firstborn male <laughs> Werner Sylvester Mach V. Vern has always put the needs and wants of everyone else above his own. He's a very selfless individual. He's always been that go-to friend that anyone can rely on. Vern is loyal, for God's sake. He openly cheers for the Cleveland Browns. No one has to 
<laughs> no one has to question the fact that he's loyal to anyone or anything. <laughs> Lily, these are the best qualities about my friend Vern. I believe that he's going to make an excellent partner in a spectacular father. I've never seen him care more about another's feelings and thoughts like he does yours. You are truly lucky to have him, Vern, you are truly lucky to have her. I never thought that you would find a woman in this day and age that would agree to naming her son Vern or Sylvester. <laughs> but here we are.